welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu and right here, just finished making this. We've got a lovely gnocchi. We have a cheese, I'm using gorgonzola cheese today, cream, bacon sauce, some garlic in there, lots of black pepper, fresh basil. It's really delicious, it's really easy. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's get started on this. Let's just run through some ingredients. Really, really simple. I've got some fresh basil here. I've got some single cream. Just over here, I've got a lovely piece of gorgonzola. I'm gonna use that cheese today. You can use any cheese you want. On this plate, which is what we're gonna start cooking with, black pepper, sliced fresh garlic. I've got some bacon rashes there that I've, you know, I've just chopped them up. About equal parts of onion. And at the back, I've got our gnocchi, which is a kind of pre-made one, it's fresh. So we're just gonna drop that into water for like one or two minutes and it's done, it's pretty instant. We're not adding any salt to this because our cheese is salty and that bacon's gonna be fairly salty, so I'm not gonna go near it. It's really, really easy. Let's go and do it. Okay, so I've got a pan on here with a little bit of oil. I'm using sunflower oil. You could use olive if you want, but a bit of a waste, really. So we're heating it up, and I've got a nice big wok here. I like to kind of throw it around in there. Simply, it's all gonna go in at the same time. Onions, bacon, that black pepper, and the garlic. Give that a mix, and on a high heat, let's throw this around in our pan for about three to four minutes. So that was about four minutes, maybe just a little bit over actually. Now if you wanted, you could cook your bacon a lot more than this and get it crispy. I, I don't particularly like it like that. It's cooked for sure. My onions and garlic are cooked and softened beautifully. Now I told you this was easy. Now what you need to do now is get a pan on, boil them all to chop your gnocchi in because it's going to be ready really soon. Here we go. Single cream. And it goes there. That gorgonzola cheese, which I've just cubed up. Like I said, use another type of cheese if you want. I just like that nice blue. And some roughly chopped sweet fresh basil. With the heat still on, we're throwing that around. The cheese and the cream will thicken slightly and the cheese will melt down a little bit. And right there, you've got an amazing sauce that's ready for me. We can just keep it going for a couple of minutes if you like, but that is wonderful. Simply, we're gonna dip our gnocchi into some boiling water, like I say, for one minute or two minutes max. It's gonna come straight out. We're gonna drop it in there. If you wanted, you could add some, you know, maybe some green olives or black olives now, or maybe a little bit of cherry tomato, perhaps. Uh, I don't think there's any need to add any Parmesan, but that's up to you, it might be nice. This is perfect for me. Off goes the heat. I'll be back when my gnocchi's ready. Okay, this water's just coming to a boil. Just about to get there. In goes our gnocchi. Put a touch of salt in there as well, in that water. And literally, they're gonna go in for like one or two minutes max. Absolute max. Now, I'm using a kind of fresh one I bought from the shop today, but if you do wanna know how to make fresh gnocchi, then check out our channel, because there's, there's a video on there somewhere. Right, one minute, two minutes max. I'm gonna drain that off. It's gonna go straight into our beautiful sauce. Okay, so there's my gnocchi. Two or three minutes. You can see it's done because it starts to float up a little bit. You don't wanna do it, overdo it, simple like that. I've got our sauce back on again. Run a bit of heat through this. Then goes that lovely gnocchi. Beautiful little dumplings. Now mix this around. Then soak up with the dumplings, knock it, get in there and soak up some of them lovely flavours. If you want, you can check this for salt. I'm certainly not going to add salt. It's good for me. You can see that's thickening beautifully. Yeah, depending on the cheese that you use and depending on the bacon that you use, you might want to add a little bit. Check it out. That is absolutely wonderful. Okay, at the very last, I'm just going to put in some more fresh basil, and I've got a tomato there that I've chopped really small. I want to put that in right at the end. So, 
it remains raw really. I don't really want to cook it, just run the heat for it. Now this is really rich, so a small portion is advisable, but it is absolutely delicious. So, so simple. Hope you enjoy that. Off goes the heat. Yeah, hope you enjoy that guys. Give it a thumbs up if it's good for you. And don't forget to subscribe to that channel. That's it, that's delicious. I'm gonna eat that, see you later, bye bye. Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, we're gonna to make a fantastic bacon and tomato pasta. So simple. Get yourself a nice decent pan. I'm using a wok today, basically just so you guys can see what I'm doing. In there, I've got some olive oil. You can use any oil you like. Right here, I've got our ingredients. I've got some bacon that I've chopped. I've got some black olives. I've got some chunky cut garlic and some onion. It all goes in now. As does some dried oregano, a touch of salt, and some black pepper. I'm using a cracked brand of pepper. This is so simple. It's so tasty. So I'm on a fairly high heat. Let's just throw this around and let it go for about four to five minutes. Keep stirring it. As you can see, this is cooking down really nicely. Now, I'm using a smoked bacon today, but you can use any bacon that you like, it's entirely up to you. Simply, I'm gonna drop in a can or a tin of regular tin tomatoes. These are whole, so I'm just gonna roughly chop them. Now, we're still on a high heat which we're going to continue to do just for about two minutes and then drop the heat down not to a simmer but above a simmer and just let that go for about eight to ten minutes stir it often now's a good time by the way to cook your pasta there we have it absolutely wonderful i've just turned the heat back up a little bit now what you could do now is add a little splash of vinegar a little touch of sugar or like i'm going to do i'm going to add just a little splash of ketchup I mean, when I say a small amount, I mean that amount. Just a tiny, like a teaspoon. The sweetness of ketchup really helps the tomatoes just kind of smooth out and get rid of their tartness. Now, I mean, again, if you wanted, you could add some chili now if you wanted, like a splash of chili sauce or some chili flakes. Now, what we're going to do is add our pasta. I've cooked my pasta already. When you're cooking your pasta, make sure you've got a nice big pan of water, get it really raging hot. Little touch of salt, get your pasta in, drain it off, straight into the pan. Here we go. Today I'm using a uh, penne. You of course can use any pasta you like. So with the heat still on, let's throw this around, making sure that our sauce covers all of the pasta. And just puts a little bit more added heat into our pasta. And this is so simple, this is done. Serve this with some parmesan cheese on the top if you like. So, so simple, so tasty. Check this for seasoning. For me, I know this is gonna be great. 